right. So, last week, uh, I made a joke about a picture of you, and I feel like uh, it would only be fair if you got me back and made fun of a picture of me. Does that sound okay? I, I don't really need to do that. No, come on. I, I deserve it. All right, I'll do Please? one. Please? All right. <laughs> First impressions with Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw. Thanks, Colin. This is Pete Davidson. He looks like if the meth from Breaking Bad was a person. All right. Not bad. So there, we're even. All right. Hold on. Well, yes. One more. This is. The All right. All right. He looks like a troll doll with a tapeworm. <laughs> yeah, man. That's good. We should wrap this up. Oh, hold on. No, this, this, this is fun. This is fun. Cool. Pete looks like Martin Short in the Santa Claus 3. <laughs> By the way, one of these people was actually good on SNL. Oh. Oh. No, you're right. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Okay, but seriously, there's a lot of lessons to learn here. Not just that the left and right can still agree on some things, but also this, Americans can forgive one another. We can remember what brings us together as a country and still see the good in each other. This is Veterans Day weekend, which means that it's a good time for every American to connect with a veteran. Maybe say thanks for your service, but I would actually encourage you to say something else. Tell a veteran, never forget. When you say never forget to a veteran, you are implying that as an American, you are in it with them not separated by some imaginary barrier between civilians and veterans, but connected together as grateful fellow Americans who will never forget the sacrifices made by veterans past and present and never forget those we lost on 9-11, heroes like Pete's father. So I'll just say, Pete, never forget. Never forget. And that is for both of us.